This morning, we are setting aside more time to dive into a topic we've heard a lot about, COVID-19 vaccines and social media. A little bit of what Dan was just talking yeah. about, right? Most of you have probably already checked your accounts this morning. So how do posts on those accounts shape your view about the vaccine? We asked 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan to get some experts to answer that question. People are going to say what they want on social media, and that's not necessarily always factual. I just kind of keep scrolling. Well, I question everything. Winding through the maze of social media took me to young Argyris. Assistant professor at Michigan State. Over Zoom, she told me the goal of her research in Michigan is to answer one big question asked around the country. Do the posts with which we engage on social media actually impact whether we get a vaccine? It's a question Argyris wondered after becoming a mom. I was surrounded by a group of mothers on Facebook, Facebook Mothers Group, uh, where many people express concerns about vaccine, childhood vaccines. Now her attention is on the COVID-19 vaccine. An algorithm her team created to categorize tweets and posts is still collecting data, but she's drawn some conclusions as to why anti-vax messaging gains traction. The visual stimuli are processed much faster and attract more attention and more persuasive. She said anti-vaccination messages focus on personal and immediate wins, often exaggerating a situation. They gain traction because friends, family, and other people you trust share them on social media. Visual stim stimuli have greater impact on our information processing and decision making. On the flip side, Pro-vaccine posts tend to focus on preventative, long-term, and societal goals, which aren't as personally appealing. This is more about a doctor, a medical doctor wearing a white gown, delivering a lecture. And even if you don't follow views from the other side, our jury said those anti-vaccination messages get by algorithms, which are meant to filter your feed because they use misspelled words or only use graphics, which slip past those monitors. Do your research and find trustable sources. Information is at our fingertips. It's not that hard to source. The advice from our juries is just that. Don't believe everything you read online and check the source of those posts before you make a decision. Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News Today.